What's going on, y'all? This is MJ TV, and I'm back with another video. Tonight is Love & Hip Hop Season 8, so it's Monday nights. This will probably be something I start doing regularly, but before we get into that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, stop what you're doing right now. Go down, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified immediately. All right, y'all, so it's Season 8 of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. They actually premiered on last week, but I didn't get a chance to review those. I watched it after the, it had premiered, so I didn't review it. But last week, they had a two-episode premiere, and tonight was the third episode. This was episode three. So tonight, we start off with Scrap De Leon. Of course, he is home from prison. I think he made a serve three years, if I'm not mistaken, for some drug charges. But we saw last week, he is living in a halfway house. And I think maybe a sister or somebody kind of signed for him because Kiki has a record. So she couldn't sign for him. So they really didn't have a family member. And then they found his sister that popped up and his dad. I don't know. But either way, she, he, she signed for him to get out. So now he can, you know, get out on work release or something like that. But he's home. So tonight we see him being reintroduced to his son he's seen him for the first time tiara is of course around now <laughs> yeah i'm sorry but she kind of get on my nerve it's kind of like that you know how future got this baby mama britney who just won't let it go he clearly isn't into her he you could tell like i just want to co-parent and raise my child and she will not let it go she's looking real thirsty it's like sis it's overdone with y'all got your baby. Let it go. Find another storyline. Just be his baby mama. Be y'all support each other, raise y'all child. But the man clearly does not want you. So you gotta let that go, sis. Let that go. But I'm sorry. I just had to say that. Like literally, she act like future baby mama Brittany. Like, girl, he not even asking you to hold him down like that. Like, just be there to raise his child. So, we also see tonight, Tokyo is doing her collection lunch with the Crayon K. So, she's getting ready for an event, and she's hanging with Shekana. And I really love that dynamic right there. Like, y'all, Shekana, I, I like Shekana. She's really funny. She should have probably been on one of these VH1 shows, aside from, of course, Tiny and T.I. shows and stuff like that. But I definitely like that dynamic between her, Sierra, and Tokyo. So, they're, you know... They and then we also see Shay Matt gets introduced, and I think she hasn't been on Love and Hip Hop in a few seasons. Um, but this is her first season back. She's had a baby. She looks different. She looks really good. You can tell she, you know, lost a lot of weight after the baby. And everybody, they trying to figure out like what you did to lose weight because Shekana, of course, wants to lose weight. Tokyo been thinking about losing weight, but they see Shay Matt because she's looking really, really good. So. They decide to take a class, a gym class. It's her, Sierra, Shay, and Tokyo. So they all take this class, and it's hilarious. She kind of look like she ain't been to the gym in so long. You know, she like, ah, this ain't for me. Tokyo not feeling it. They tired. They complaining the whole time with the trainer. And of course, you know, Sierra talking about her journey with losing weight and things like that. So you can tell, like, she really serious and really into it. And you start to kind of see her kind of get a little hard on Tokyo because, of course, we all know Tokyo is a you know plus size girl. She's you know a healthy girl, and she owns it. She carries carries it, and it seems like it doesn't bother her. But of course, you know Sierra being a friend, she you know like I know I've been down that road. You know, just talking about her having diet, you know, being close to having diabetes, and just really wanting to be there to support her and just saying, hey, you know, you really need to take this workout serious. But of course, you know, you can't, if somebody's not ready to receive that, they ain't ready to receive it. Talk like, I'm good. Like, I'm good eating this New Orleans food. Like, we, I'm fine. She's not interested. So she, you know, walks out, storms out of the workout. But we'll get down the line into that, you know, altercation that they had. So we see Bambi and Scrappy, of course, are, you know, back. I think they had been in Miami during the time that he got in a car accident and hurt his foot. So they're back in Atlanta, and I think they may be living with Mama D up until they find them somewhere to stay permanently. And, of course, Bambi's almost ready to have a baby, so her mom is here, so they're all kind of living with Mama D. Mama D completely over Bambi mama. Like, she completely over her, y'all. Mama D, she trips me out. 
she, like, you can tell she annoyed with the lady. Like, mama, you don't care. And and you can tell Bambi mama is really opinionated and maybe a little bit more reserved than Mama D. Mama D, if Mama D want to go to this club and strip, Mama D going to go to the club and strip and do whatever she want to do. And you can tell um, Bambi mama ain't really living that kind of lifestyle. So, of course, they button heads and they all in the same house. And it's just like they not getting along. So, we see that dynamic play out. But what took me out was them getting ready to say the grace and they allow Mama D to say the grace and she breaks out in amazing grace, y'all. <laughs> Amazing. It took me completely out of here. But in normal Mama D style, like she can't do nothing regular. She can't just be normal and just do a regular grace. She got to break out in full song. But I'm guessing she got to do that so she'll be calm with... But that was pretty much all from, you know, Scrappy and Bambi tonight. They just pretty much being reintroduced in tonight. But we also see Monice from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. Now, I don't watch, to be honest, I watch Love & Hip Hop Atlanta and I watch Hollywood. So I rock with Monice. I like Monice. She crazy, but I like her for some reason. So Monice is introducing that. You know, we see her like... Her and Tokyo said they had been hanging out, so that's kind of how they ease it in. And then, of course, we see she's now involved with Scrap De Leon, which is probably going to cause some problems because we already know Tierra holding on. She's like this, holding on to that relationship. So she's trying to do anything she can do to, you know, people always want to say, I want to get my family back together. Girl, you just want to be with your baby daddy. Just say it. Just be honest. You want to be with your baby daddy. It's okay if you do. But when he's showing you that he clearly is not interested, move on. But anyway, Monice is introduced in. And they, you know, Monice says that KK actually introduced them. KK met Monice at probably a Love Hip Hop event or something like that. And I guess she might have liked Monice. So she kind of introduced them. And Monice and Scrap had been talking on the phone while he was serving his prison time. And they, you know, they can they got a little close, which tonight it kind of... You could definitely see the chemistry. Of course, before this, Monique was in a full lesbian relationship. But hey, you know how girls kind of do sometimes. She wants to be back with a man right now. Of whoever she finds that she loves. And right now, that seems to be Scrap. Which, honestly, they kind of got a lot of chemistry. For me, looking at it tonight, I was like, oh, okay. And you could definitely tell that he way more into Monique than he is into Tierra right now. Tierra, like I said, so it's just let it go. In addition to loving hip hop, is somebody that everybody all Atlanta, you pretty much already know Akbar. Last season, we saw, well, we didn't see it on the show, but it was reported through social media that Akbar had had a, you know, a fight with Tommy, who's not on this season. So Akbar has now been introduced to the cast. She's on loving hip hop. And for those of you that didn't know, you saw tonight, she's Candy's cousin, which we pretty much already knew that if you kind of been following her. Her and Candy are literally cousins. And she has a really genuine storyline. Like, I follow her. I like, she, sis can actually speak. Like, she can rap. And she kind of live that life she talk about in her raps. So, we get introduced to her tonight. She tells her story about, you know, she has five kids and none of them are living with her right now because, you know, she has had a rough past. She is from Cleveland Avenue, which is on the south side of Atlanta. Maybe not the best area, you know, to grow up in. It's definitely, you know, a lot of violence that may take place over there. So she kind of seen some things. And I think those are the kind of stories that we kind of miss on Love and Hip Hop. Like real true, like somebody who can really rap, really out here grinding, really trying to turn their life around. Like not just another girl that wants to be a rapper that's got somebody write her bars and all that type of stuff. Like, she really can rap. So, to see her story tonight, and we see Candy come in, and, you know, she's saying how she really wants to get her own apartment so she can get start the process of getting her kids back. So, of course, she needs somewhere to stay in right now. She's living on Cleveland Avenue, which, like I said, not the best area. So, you know, she goes to Canada to kind of see how she can get some funds to try to move. Her and Candy have a, a sit down, and you can tell like Candy, like that's her real cousin. So she, you know, like I seen the potential in you. I just wanted you to see your own potential, and you know, she said, "I see you grinding. I see you, you got your head on straight now." So you know, she helps her get an apartment, which is so good because I'm like this girl, and she actually, if you guys know, um, Erica Mina's boyfriend that just got killed, 
him and Albert were like re like best friends. So I know she took that really, really hard. You know, I think that was maybe two weeks ago when he got killed. So she definitely seen her fair share of people losing their lives, you know, in the street. So, you know, we see, we got this scene, you know, where she's with her son and she's pretty much trying to, you know, really get him to see like, hey, I live that life. You don't want to be on the streets. Like I'm out here really trying to build a better life for you and your siblings. So I definitely, I like her energy. I like her story. She real, she real Atlanta. Like not, you know, from somebody, somewhere else and then move here. Like she Atlanta, Atlanta. If you hear somebody say they from Cleveland Avenue, they from Atlanta. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely like her on this season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And then as I'm watching, I'm like, it's a pretty good, like I seen the first two episodes. It seems to be pretty good this season. Of course, you know, some people that we're used to seeing, like Jessica Dime, Tummy's not on here. But I definitely think with the people that they've added, we can kind of like, it's a it's a good balance. You know, I like to see more real people like a Tokyo, a Shikana, and Akbar. You know, people real, you know, out here doing real stuff and not just trying to be fake artists for a scene or for, for a show, like real, true art. So we kind of end on Tokyo and Sierra kind of having a sit down. Of course, they're talking about, you know, the incident at the gym and pretty much how she wants, Sierra wants Tokyo to eat better. But of course, that's kind of hard. Like weight is a hard topic to talk to with somebody. So like to kind of, you can give your opinion, but I do think it's a fine line, like to cross you and I, and I understand Sierra coming from a place of love but I think you know Tokyo she seems to be comfortable in her own skin and she has this thing her this body positivity thing that she she's doing so you know she's really trying to make it like what she doesn't want to change for the music industry of course she doesn't want to be a size two or anything like that and you know she kind of gets really irritated with Sierra <laughs> You can tell when friends about the fight, it's like, not even about the fight. It's those friend arguments where you like pushing and you like, girl, I don't want to hit you. So just back up out of my face. See, Erin's trying to just tell her that like, she was close to having diabetes and she really, you know, is concerned about Tokyo, just really wants her to try to eat better. And it's not about her losing weight, but her literally having a lifestyle change. But of course, Tokyo, you know, I'm not really want to hear that right now. That's not at a, a place that she is at right now, ready to be there. So... Her and Sierra had this exchange. Of course, I think they truly friends. So I don't think it, it would have got to the point they really throwing hands. Like, you could tell they really, they weren't trying to fight each other. And of course, the producers and security stepped in real quick. They kind of shut that down. But I definitely like that friendship. You could tell it's a genuine friendship. Um, even her, Shekana, like, that whole dynamic that we're seeing. So, like I said, we three episodes in right now. And I can say, like, it's it's pretty good this season. Like, I know it's probably going to get a little bit crazy and storylines kind of flying all around, but it seems a bit more genuine this season. And not all of the storylines where we kind of like, huh, what? Now, the only shocker to me was kind of Moniz and Scrap. I didn't see that one coming, but I mean, of course, we can have kind of heard for months about Moniz filming for Atlanta, but... <clears throat> Not really knowing why she was filming for that, so we see that now. But yeah, this episode was it was pretty good. It kept my attention. I think I'll be um reviewing Love and Hip Hop every Monday. We got introduced to Art Bar tonight, and she got a lot of camera time. I definitely think she is gonna grow on people and be one of the staples for the show. So definitely, don't let me know how y'all feel um about this season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. If you watching, let me know your thoughts on this season. Drop a comment below if you watch the video. Let me know your thoughts. But until next time, like I said, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel. Hit your bell so you can be notified whenever I post because you never know what I'm posting. It could be a review. I might catch something, whatever. But uh, definitely thank you guys for the support. And I'll see you next time. Bye.